The oral cavity and uh, associated structures are very rich in nerve endings, particularly pain receptors, and so any disease in the mouth, uh, inflammation or infection, is, is going to be very much felt by the animal and have a negative impact on their quality of life. Also the bacteria themselves can get into the bloodstream directly through the um, inflamed soft tissue. So it's not completely certain whether the systemic effects of periodontal disease are due to the mediators of inflammation or the actual action of the bacteria spreading from the mouth to other parts of the body. There's an ever-growing body of evidence that chronic oral inflammation, chronic periodontal disease, does have negative impact on other organ systems and other parts of the body, including microscopic changes in the liver and lungs and uh, renal tissue of animals with periodontal disease. Each patient has its own predisposition to the development of periodontal disease. At the moment, I would say that the largest factor is genetics. Aside from the genetic impact on periodontal disease, some animals are anatomically predisposed to periodontal disease. Prevention of periodontal disease obviously starts before dental disease has developed. If we're going to prevent, we have to be ahead of the curve. We're not going to do any dog or any cat any harm by having a periodontal program in place from the time the adult teeth arrive. There are many things that we're asking the owners to do at home on a daily basis to try and control and retard plaque accumulation, help maintain good oral hygiene and gingival health. Certainly toothbrushing is the number one um, strategy, but animals have to eat every day. And if we can feed a diet that has been clinically proven to help retard plaque accumulation uh, and it's nutritionally acceptable or appropriate for that animal's needs, then it just makes sense to also add that strategy. It's something that we're doing on a daily basis anyway and something the animal is doing for itself. I think if they hear from the entire veterinary healthcare team, from the receptionist through to the technicians and the veterinarians, if they're getting a clear and consistent message on how to prevent dental disease, it makes it much easier for them to accept and internalize that message. So I think it's very important that all staff members be well educated and informed on dental disease, the significance of dental disease, and what practices to have in place in order to do their very best to prevent dental disease from occurring. Since there's really no downside to having a good periodontal preventative program in place, we should apply that to all animals then those that would develop periodontal disease without prevention in place will be kept healthier. Those that wouldn't have got periodontal disease regardless still won't. So it's a win-win.